I first heard about you years ago uh, in a short documentary, uh, documentary you produced about interviews conducted at a Christians United for Israel conference. The documentary was called Rapture Ready. Uh, it was a John Hagee conference. Say a word about the impact and influence of Christian Zionism in its support for Israel. And as part of the, as part of the Israel lobby, the Christian the Christian part of the Israel lobby. The Christian part of the Israel lobby is the product of the Christian right, first of all, emerging as a political bloc within the Republican Party where none existed um, since the Scopes trial, um, really under the watch of Jerry Falwell. And part of it is theological, it relates to their eschatology, of you know the hill of Megiddo and Jerusalem being the landing pad for the Messiah and the need for the ingathering of the exiles in order to fulfill the prophecy and revelation for Christ to return you know premillennial dispensationalism that theology preached by John Nelson Darby the carnival barker is at the core of it but also the concept of the Christian right and the church as an imperial church as an arm of American raw power and the legacy of settler colonialism in the U.S. and sharing values with other settler colonial states. We have to remember the Christian right was also in solidarity with apartheid South Africa. Um, all of these have come together to make the Christian right a juggernaut in the Republican Party, but also given rise to Christian Zionism as a major factor in the Israel lobby. What is the Israel lobby? Well, it mostly exists in elite quarters, um, and it is something that grew out of American Jewish life. We are 3.5% of the population. Uh, Christian evangelicals who believe in premillennial dispensationalist ideology, I would call it, not theology, are 12 to 15% of the population. And then most of the population believes in heaven and hell and believes in Christ's resurrection. So that means that a top-heavy lobby is able to have a grassroots base, and they refer to it as Israel's safety belt in the Bible belt. Um, APAC formalized this kind of relationship when it actually created Christians United for Israel. A lot of people don't know APAC created Christians United for Israel through John Hagee, who was very well known in Texas through the Cornerstone Church. Uh, it's a major church. He does like faith healing. He's a Pentecostal charismatic preacher who has a massive uh, presence on um, satellite TV. And what APAC did was it connected him with a lobbyist in Washington named David Brog, who was the former chief of staff to a moderate Republican Senator, Arlen Specter and brought Hagee and his flock to Washington doing these annual summits, which I covered in this really psychedelic video where people were telling me they can't wait for Armageddon, they, they're getting ready for the apocalypse. And it brought elite figures in Washington, mostly Republicans, onto stage, include, and as well as the Israeli ambassador, to welcome them and say, you're our friends, and to bring them on trips to Israel and cultivate them and bring them on Hasbara propaganda tours and to train them as foot soldiers for Israeli apartheid and for American empire. And it's been very successful and necessary because of the progressive exodus from the pro-Israel tent. Um, the future of Israel is within the Christian Zionist world. If you look at Pew polls of American opinion on Israel, you look at Dem people who vote Democrat who are between 18 and 35, they no longer for the first time favor Israel over the Palestinians. And then even going up in age, it's almost even among Democrats. And then among Republicans, 80% favor Israel over Palestine. Um, that's because of the cultivation of Christian Zionism. And another just really quick point is that Christian Zionism is having a huge impact in the global south, in the third yeah. world. Um, and the election of Jair Bolsonaro in Brazil, who is a close ally of Netanyahu, his first foreign visitor was Benjamin Netanyahu after his election, and he's a far-right extremist, is a direct product of the deliberate cultivation of Pentecostal Christianity and Christian Zionism in Brazil. 
um, and it's extremely dangerous because of the effect it will have across the world with Israel kind of as this central axis of uh, you know shared right wing um, right wing apocalypticist values.